<laughs> this lady has got calcaneo cuboid pain. She's got pain on the outside of the foot. We've done an MRI and there's some swelling in the cuboid. So Naomi, let's just find that hot spot of discomfort for you again. Whereabouts are we exactly? Around about there. Okay, so. We've got base of fifth metatarsal. Just rotate just out slightly for me, that's great. Base of fifth metatarsal here. And you always think the calcaneo cuboid is round about here, but it's always much higher. So base of fifth is there. So the cuboid's really gonna be up and around this point here. And then the calc is up here. So the calcaneo cuboid is always much higher up than you think. Let's just put our laser light on it. Okay, we're gonna be quite close to that. So we're going to do some x-rays. Everybody's covered in theatre, so just do a check x-ray. And uh, let's just... John, have you got one of our American testing devices? Let me just pass me that. That's brilliant. We've just got these in from America. These, these, are, these are anaesthetic testing devices. They look a little bit like a biro. And you can see we're fairly close onto that. And I'll put some stills on it. Actually, probably just a little bit more. And in fact, we'll come in at 90 degrees. So that's going to be very close to the joint. I'll put some x-ray stills on in a sec and you'll see there's a little ossicle. So I've got a colleague with me today. John, what's that ossicle known as? That's uh, uh, osperineum. This is osperineum, which my secretary always spells as perineum. So that's another story. Is it an ossicle or a sesamoid? Uh, that's a sesamoid because it's within tendon. He's bloody clever, I tell you what. I didn't teach him that. Apologies for swearing. Okay, let's set up. So we've done a bit of marking up. Now we'll do skin prep. We like the chloro preps, you've seen me use these before. Little click. And just start it going. A little bit of skin prep. And just allow that to dry. And then it's all about preparation. Preparation is the key. So we'll have a little bit of gauze a sterile plaster. We'd already confirmed allergies, so we'll confirm again for the camera. No, no, I mean, no allergies at all, no medical concerns currently. We're going to give her a little shot of, it's a joint, so Kenalog, Trimacinolone. And we're going to use a little bit of local anaesthetic as well for diagnostic purposes. We're going to use, and you won't see me use this very often, Mepivacaine. It's a very good local anaesthetic, but out in podiatry land we tend to use it just with a dental syringe and we don't like dental syringes real much. So we're going to draw with the white one needle. This is a blue one, because we haven't got any green today. Small syringe. And we're going to mix, because we can. So we're going to take a little smidge of mepivacaine. Technical term is a smidge, about half a mil. Decent size of joint, so we'll put in about 30, 40 mg of Kenalog in there. Just mix that in, mix it around, it does tend to settle. It is an insoluble steroid, so you do need to mix it up a little bit. I'll just come off camera, excuse me, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Excellent. And we're going to, for this lady, use a 27 gauge needle to get in. You could certainly go bigger, um, you could certainly go blue to go in with. And then we're ready pen, stroke, anaesthetic testing device, and there's our syringe. Put some gloves on. Excuse me while I go off camera a sec. Okay, so let us mark up. So we'll start again. So unfortunately with um, doing the skin prep, you do tend to lose some of the markings. But we know where we're at, and then we can just put a little mark on the skin. And I'm going to re x ray. I'll show you these x rays in a set. So we're just a little bit from that first x ray, just a little bit proximal. Naomi, a little scratch. Three, two, one, scratch. Sorry. Hands out the way of the beam. Okay, now I'm too distal. I don't know if you've ever read the three, the three bears. And that one's just right. Scratch again. Okay, very, very close there, John. 
And then you, what you really want to do is get, feel as if you're really in the joint. And at this point, you'll often get a bit of patient feedback. You might get a bit of effing and jeffing from the patient. Again, I'm just a smidge distal there, John. Mm -hmm. So the great thing with these whippy needles is you can just kind of come back and just, I really want that to get in. Okay, that felt nice. Okay, I'm just struggling with this one just slightly. Good to see me struggling. You don't want to see them all very easy. Scratch again, sorry. And you can almost try and open the foot up. Okay, do you know I'm really struggling with this one. This is probably not going to be on YouTube, viewers. But this is why we do it under x-ray. Now we're in there. Okay, so that took a bit of effing and jeffing, guys. But this is real life injection therapy. This is... This is why we don't do these in clinic, because you just don't know where the needle's gonna be. Little sting as it goes in, Naomi. She says, yes, thank you very much. And she's saying, I'm really glad I'm not a private patient in paying for this. Okay, that last bit really felt like we're in the joint. So we have a bit of pressure, comes off. We'll get rid of that, thank you, John. Check for any leakage. No, that's doing quite nicely. So I'm going to take some stills of this and put this on with the video. But this is real life injection therapy. If it goes straight in, that's fine. And that will often be the case. But bear in mind, it's a real skill. And sometimes you just need that x-ray to really help you get in. So as always, uh, light juices for the rest of the day. Warn the patient they can have a flare. Happens about one time in 10 with these insoluble uh, steroids. We review in six weeks time. There's some local anaesthetic in there, so we're looking at the, the diagnostic effect. Now, from today, I'm expecting that to go numb in the next five, ten minutes. That's the effect of the local anaesthetic. So if that works and takes away the pain, it tells me we're in the right area. Then we expect the steroid to kick in over the next two days to two weeks, so that by, by the time I see you back in six weeks, I'm hopeful that it's really settled down the rest of, worst of your pain. Worst of your pain? Worst of your pain.